Investigators are still combing through evidence in this waterfront beach home behind me, where grandparents were found shot dead in their bed, allegedly by their 14 year old grandson. Officials believe that 911 dispatcher Crescenda Williams hung up on thousands of people during a six month period. Because of that, she has faced criminal charges and she will appear in the Harris County Criminal Court this morning. Surveillance video showing a Metro officer beating a homeless man has been released. This is the newest improvement since Houston's last evacuation. This room here seats 98 people compared to the old room that only seated 24. When you don't know your history. You're destined to fail. Students gathered at Texas Southern University to recreate the march that helped change Jim Crow 57 years ago. Today, students were able to see firsthand what the students years ago experienced in efforts to desegregate Houston businesses. I actually got to see what students at Texas Southern University uh, before me did and how they used their strength to come together and, and march for freedom. Every year, the students honor those brave pioneers by reading the historical landmark that sits in front of the post office located on Almeda. Today in Third Ward, Houston, Texas, students from Texas Southern University marched here to the post office on Almeda Street. The actions of the 13 students who marched in the 1960s in hopes to end segregation inspired, motivated, and encouraged students in 2017 to be just as brave and and fearless as the pioneers who wanted equality not to sit at a lunch counter. I don't know if I would even have the courage to stand in someone's face while they're spitting at me and calling me names. I don't know if I would be able to handle that and for someone to be able to do that, that is just amazing. Journalism professor at TSU, Professor Walker, says she will continue to teach students of the past in hopes of a better future. I'm Wesley Harris with TSU TV. It has been a rough three months for Deputy Alden Clopton, who was ambushed and shot by an unknown suspect four times, pulling over to assist the fellow officer. Clopton was released a few weeks ago and made his first public appearance as he was presented with pampering at the Houston Spa for Father's Day. The event was sponsored by Chrisette Michelle and owner Sabre Munns. And we just felt like it would be really special to pick three gentlemen who, you know, overcome adversities and who actually give back to the community and every day they, you know, go outside, they put their uniform on and they, you know, put their life on the line and we just feel like we should honor that. Deputy Clopton said it's been a rough road, but with the help of his wife, he was able to overcome. I'm glad to be in this position where I can get this and even be talking to you now. Mm -hmm. It's been a rough road, but uh, thanks to my wife, I got through it. I'm getting better every day. Deputy Clopton has made a speedy recovery, and today he was honored with two other first responders. The officers were able to get a massage and facial, and after, get a special VIP meet and greet with Chrisette Michelle.